So let's have a look at the derwent embossing tools. There's two double-ended tools in the pack, which means you get four different sized heads. The smallest one is the ultra fine, which is at 0.7 millimeters. Then we've got varying degrees all the way up to 2.3 millimeters in size. Basically what you're doing with an embossing tool is you're pressing into the paper, which indents the paper. And so when you color over that, the area which you've indented will remain white. That's the theory behind it all. So let's start off. I'm going to actually draw a little outline shape first, give us a starting point. Let's just do a really quick leaf shape. So these are really only for use with dry colour pencils. You wouldn't well, it wouldn't work with water because water would seep into the indented areas and then you'd end up with colour in there anyway. So it's for dry coloured pencils. For this particular demo I'm using Colour Soft, but Studio and Artists would all work fine as well. And the drawing pencils. As long as it's a dry colour pencil, then you're okay. And re relatively smooth paper as well. So I'm just going to start Add a bit more, I've got a couple of different greens in here, just to give us a starting point. Okay, right. So if you were drawing a leaf and you didn't have your embossing tools, you'd have to be very careful about the veins on the leaf. But with these, you can really make it easy for yourself. And so I'm starting off with the largest one, and I'm going to indent a vein right the way down the length of the leaf and then I'm going to turn that one round to the second largest and I'm going to add in a few veins across and then I'm going to take it right down to the finer pointed ones using the second smallest one near near the centre vein and then I'm just going to add some really fine ones from there into the smallest areas of the leaf. Yeah, okay. Now all we do is start colouring over the top of that. So I'm going to start off with a pale green and with a pencil on its side, I'm just going to start rubbing gently over the top. And there you can see the indents starting to show up. change greens, mix it up a bit. I'm just going to keep layering and layering and layering until the veins are showing up a vast amount. So I'll just keep going with this. You can see it's starting to build up there. I'm going to bring a darker green in. Let's take that around the edges. First of all, then on its side, I'm going to start rubbing over those veins down at the corners. See how those little fine little lines are really bringing out the little veins. So really handy if you're wanting to put some very small detail in. Because if you'd have to have drawn right the way around each individual vein on each leaf on a plant, <laughs> you could be there for hours and hours and hours and days and days and days. And you need a lot more patience. And certainly I've got. So I'm 
sure you get the idea here. I'm just going to keep going so until we get a finished leaf. I might leave a little bit lighter green in the main body there for a bit of a highlight. Yeah, it's bent round a bit. Okay, now let's start building up the layers. So you can really see. I'm always using the pencils on their sides here, really just the edge part of the tip because if I start using the point then there's a danger that I'm going to go into one of the lines that we've put in and all of a sudden that'll be coloured in green and you won't see the veins anymore so that's why we're using the side of the pencil. And it doesn't just stop there with white lines. You can go over the top of colours that you've laid down to keep some coloured areas indented and therefore contained. Another thing that it might work quite well with is saying, well, since we've got some greens out, is grass. So let's say we have some grasses. We'll start off with some lines. We've got a few highlights in. Okay. Then perhaps we'll uh, add in some more lines over that green. Let's take another green and go over the top of that. You can see how some of that green is then staying behind as well. So if you had a whole area of grasses and you wanted to put <coughs> different lines in for them, we could take a thinner one. Let's see how that works out. Where's the top of those? And then we'll Bit of dark green there. So it's not just the case of building up white. You can see how the different greens are showing through there. And if you keep building up layers, you can get yourself a really lovely textured area that doesn't require such fine detail to draw it. So then we've made good use of the embossing tools to create really fine detail in a fraction of the time.